Today on the channel, like a Judas Priest from the East, we got Damian Priest, WWE Mattel Elite Series 109. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite 109 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we call for the priest once again, like a young Judas priest with Damian Priest Elite 109. But for all your Elite 109 needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. Got to get a deal out there. And I'll never forget the time I met Damian Priest. I said, Damian, I'm not a fan of what you do. I'm a fan of what you are. And there is a difference. And if you don't know that difference, man, turn this channel off right now. Or not. Keep going with it. But Damian Priest, I gotta say, and I've said this before, out of all the guys that have hit the big time, and let's be honest, Damian Priest hit the big time, part of Judgment Day, current champion, doesn't get much bigger than that. For whatever reason, I never saw the talent in the guy. I remember it was his Punishment Martinez back in Ring of Honor, and it was immediate channel, channel flipping for me. For whatever reason, I just didn't connect with Damian. But later on, he stole my heart and never let go. Maybe not that far extreme yet, but I didn't see a whole lot in him until he hit Judgment Day, until he's kind of went through things the last few months. Now as champion, you got to give props where props are due. He definitely beat my expectation. I've actually came around to Damian Priest here, and there's just always guys you just don't figure out, you don't get. He was one for me, but man, he put the work in, and there's something about putting the work in, getting the job done. Chasing a dream and holding on to it like the edge of a lightning bolt, like a young Dusty Rhodes. Maybe something like that as well. So shout out to Damian Priest for all of his success as of late. And shout out to this channel because you know why? We're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging and we're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's call for the Priest once again. Damian Priest, that is. And this is what? His third elite maybe at this point? Maybe fifth overall figure, something like that. Uh, but I have to imagine we got more Damian Priest on the way. We know there's an ultimate right around the corner. Got to be some more elites as well, especially with that big title win. I'm sure we'll get that outfit as well. And we got to get the old senior money in the bank. We got to get that uh, briefcase, which we will get as well. But there's old Priest right there, old Damian Priest, WWE logo on the front. Let the light in, window box, elite, WWE, all the hits being played. Elite collection on the side, of course, 109. Certified authentic, no confusion here. And then, of course, on the back, we got the tail of the tape. We got the blur. We got the glamour shot. We got the elite logo. We got the jibber jabber. And we got the cross sell. And we're cross selling this whole thing, unboxing every single one of these on the channel. Make sure you do subscribe. At the very end, we're going to rank the entire way from my least favorite to my favorite. And we're going to unbox the Shinsuke Nakamura Chase. So, oh, you don't want to miss that one. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial, as they do say. But let's see what old Damian Priest says right here. From New York, New York, a town so nice they named it twice. Height six foot five, weight two hundred forty nine pounds. Finisher the old reckoning. Okay, uh, the Archer of Infamy grew sick and tired of Bad Bunny sticking his nose in the Judgment Day's business, paving the way for San Juan Street fight between the two former friends. And you know I'm sick of Bad Bunny sticking his nose on my radio and on my TV appearances. Let's get more Judas Priest, less Bad Bunny. How about that? But Bad Bunny, I just don't get it, and it's not for me. It's not for my age bracket. It's over my head. I'm a metal guy at the end of the day. Shout out my boys at Night Demon. That's what I like here. But very interesting time with the old Bad Bunny saga. And it was definitely an entertaining match. Nobody's going to say that wasn't an entertaining match. It was uh, quite the spectacle at the end of the day, as we do know. And I'm sure we'll see more of that in the future. Honestly, shocked we haven't seen that Mr. Bunny as of late. See you later. Goodbye. Very, very plain Jane here. Not a lot going on with this figure either. Uh, you, gotta do, you do get a soft good shirt, which is nice. Extra set of hands, but not a lot of pizzazz once again. But we'll see. Maybe it'll shock us when we get him out of the package here. If I can get him out of the package. There it is. Uh-oh, we got a twist tie. Can I break it? Oh, just power through those twist ties. Power move from the couch, Todd McFarlane style. That's what that is. Hands are out. We're gone. See you later. Goodbye. All right, we get to get two extra hands here. 
Uh, two gripping hands, that's all it is. So you can grip it and rip it with old Damien Priest if you want to. Choose your own hand adventure. But I'm going to choose this hand adventure. He's got two fists of fury. He's ready to throw down. He's ready to throw hands if need be. Looking very good there with the hands up in the air. I'm here for that. Old Damien Priest. Then he does have a soft, good Judgment Day shirt on. I believe I'd have to check. I believe this is the same one as Dominic Mysterio. And I think I have that somewhere. Yes, I do. I was going to say, I thought I had him hanging around somewhere here. And I do. And it looks to be the exact same shirt. Got to get the most out of your molds. Got to get the most out of your T-shirts. Got that re-released here. I don't hate it. They all wear the shirts. That works for me. So we got old Dominic with him. Of course, Dominic also in this line. We will be unboxing him in the next couple of days. But a nice soft goods Judgment Day shirt here for old Mr. Priest. But I'm going to pull that off here of him. I love a good soft goods shirt, though. You guys know me. Stick that over with Dominic there. But he does got his little outfit on, so very interesting. But let's start with the head here. It does look like uh, Damian Priest. I'm not mistaking this for anybody else. Got the ponytail at the top. Got the braids in. Got the long hair going on. Definitely looks like him. The purple and black attack and the hairdo. Looking very nice. Then you do get down to the outfit. I don't know about this top here. A little interesting. You do get the Judgment Day wings on the back. Uh, very interesting. It almost looks like the wings aren't finished on one side. I don't know. Maybe that's just mine. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I guess I don't pay close enough attention to that kind of stuff. Uh, looking interesting on the back. Uh, you do got the purple and black throughout. Got some skulls going on. You got a, kind of the... Uh, what are those called? Uh, the... Um, Oh, what are those? You know, they go like this way. It's the, the scales of justice. How about that? We'll call them the scales of justice over here on the side, looking good in silver. Got a little bit of uh, the skullage going on. You got some silver and black and purple throughout, looking good. Got a little bit of studs, I guess we'll call them, down under the boots with the purple and black attack once again. He does got some thigh covers and some knee covers, almost going full Terry Steinbach, which isn't a bad thing. I'd go full if I could. Uh, it's just hard to do, and uh, Damian Priest trying to get there. He is tatted up there all over the tattoos on his arm. Once again, I am not an expert on Damian Priest's tattoo, but I expect them to be correct, hopefully. Who knows? Uh, but he is tatted up there. Of course, got the black wrist tape as well. Two Fist of Fury we already talked about. But looking good, a very respectable Damian Priest, very stoic in the face as well. Of course, head sculpt back and forth, side to side. Head is removable, as we know. Arms all the way around. Bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows, we're here for that. Hands back and forth, side to side. Ab crunch, waist articulation. Big old Damien split, pre-splits if you need it. Oh my gosh, he's ready to join the Puerto Rican uh, Olympic team. I don't know, I guess that would be the U.S. Olympic team. But you know what I mean. Maybe the Puerto Rico uh, special uh, Olympic team. I don't know, whatever that could be. But he's ready to do it. Do you got the thigh cut. Double jointed, pinless knees, you know I'm here for that. Boot cut, ankles back and forth, up and down, looking pretty good. And then will, of course, he fit on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Get yourself a Mattel ringside collectible stand. What do you know? Taking his last stand right here for the Judgment Day. A lot of rumors Judgment Day may break up. It'll be interesting with the draft around the corner. Will they get split up? Rhea Ripley apparently injured, vacating the title off TV. A lot of uh, craziness here. And some people saying Damian Priest might turn into a good guy and maybe feud with Finn Balor. Who knows what could happen? I'd keep Judgment Day together if it was me, but I don't think I have a vote in it. Maybe I'll try to phone one in. I'll call my good friend, good Motorhead brother, Triple H. Say, hey, let's talk about that uh, Inferno album from Motorhead first. You, know, you break the ice a little bit. You talk a little deep cut Motorhead, and then you work your way into your question. I don't know. Maybe we'll try that. We'll see what happens. But of course, Damian Priest got the last one from Judgment Day. I guess I call this with the purple attack. This one feels a lot more Judgment Day to me. So of course, like a lot of us, we have that Judgment Day team. We're building it all out. Probably put this with my Judgment Day one. Put his U.S. Championship stuff back uh, somewhere else. Somewhere else. But then we did get Seth Rollins, of course, just recently unboxed this on the channel. Check this out from the Save Wave 109. But he does come with the brand new title belt, which of course, Damian Priest does now hold as he did cash in the money in the bank so we can put this with him and it does work even with the Seth Rollins side plates because obviously they didn't have time to switch it on the event so he was celebrating with this very title so that works out pretty good so I can see some people taking the belt off Seth putting it over here to Damian Priest maybe put it to Drew McIntyre too as we did say but it does look good right here so the Judgment Day shelf grows again with another key member here in Damian Priest, the new champion, a special guy, and everybody loves the Priest. Once again, especially like Judas Priest, shout out to Rob Halford, shout out to Ian Hill, shout out to Scott Travis, shout out to KK Downing and Glenn Tipton, I don't care. Andy Sneap, you can jump in there as well. And the good friend of the channel, Richie Faulkner, good Star Wars brother, loves a good room tour video, as we do know, longtime viewers of the channel. So shout out to old Richie. And shout out to Jeff George too. Why wouldn't we? Jeff's a musician as well. So we'll 
shout out to Jeff just for the fun. Just for fun. There it is. But there's Damian Priest, WWE Mattel Elite 109. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you. If you can believe that over on Patreon, Patreon exclusive videos over there. You get monthly giveaways. You get monthly Q&As. A lot going on on Patreon every single day. Let me tell you over there. And it is the best way to support the channel. You can also support channel pressing tees com search kyle peterson pick up a kyle peterson t-shirt over there and then of course barnes noble exclusive hardcover edition soft cover recommended over there on amazon it is the complete guide to jack's class superstar series almost 700 pages of content can you believe that it is truly like a textbook here every single figure in the line ready to go check out the book support the book there it is appreciate everybody that's picked up a copy and if you want to hit me up on social media you want an autographed copy or something reach out to me sir paul 64 on the x the underscore kyle underscore peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Damian Priest, Kyle, see you guys all real soon.